Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was a League One team of the season Friday that we will not forget for a while. From crazy leaks of SBCs that people have wanted for months to an EA mistake that is making people quit the game, and it's reminding us of that team of the year messy 0.7% mistake on top of the League One TOTS content D1 Archema cards being in this game. It was a crazy day yesterday. On top of that, some of you guys already know the crazy pack pull that I had. Guys, there is so much to talk about today. There's like three videos worth of content in one video today. So buckle in. We have a lot to talk about. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about the content yesterday from League One and D1 Archema Tots to start things off. Let's go with the player SBC section. We had some surprises yesterday. We had some SBCs that were not leaked at all dropped on the game. In fact, we didn't get any of the SBCs that we even talked about yesterday that we thought we were going to be getting. First SBC is Diani. I have completed this SBC. She is already in my team. Guys, this card actually looks really good. I am a big fan of Diani. I packed her gold card early on in the year, used her for plenty of games, and this card is just it's just very meta and very good in game. Like, she is her. A lot of people say Stanway is her. This Diani card is her as well. She is the most popular card in the D1 Arkema, in my opinion, in terms of this game. And EA dropped there's an SBC yesterday. I know some people are going to look past this and say, oh, maybe Sane is better. Oh, maybe somebody I already have is better. This card for me was a must-do. She links very easily with the Lyon links and the French links. Five-star, four-star, technical plus Trivella and whipped pass with other great playstyles. The stats look nuts. And again, she's just one of those cards that is very, very meta in game. So only 450,000 coins. This was the best player SBC yesterday, in my opinion. She is how much? 76% upvoted by the community. I think that is deserving. I think that is a very, very good SBC. If you need a French linking winger, that is an amazing, amazing card. Her dribbling is going to be absolutely insane. Now, the other SBC that we were surprised to see was another flashback. No Lacazette. We'll talk about that at the end of the video today. Musa Sissoko was the other player SBC that was released, and it is a three-play style plus flashback for him. 4-4, four, four, medium, high, right? Everybody remembers the nostalgia of this cracked Sissoko cards that we have had over the years. When he was at Spurs, when he's now at Nantes in League One, he's had some absolutely insane cards during team of the season and around this time of the year. This card isn't that great like it's good don't get me wrong and he has always been one of those players in game that has played above his stats but you know what i'm noticing this is the second flashback in a row right we had silas and now we have sissoko the second time in a row that ea has dropped a nostalgia fifa flashback player and they've kind of underwhelmed with the sbc and also with the price this sissoko is coming in at 278,000 coins i think if he had like 90 pace um, on the front of this card and then the same stats throughout it then maybe it would be good or like 90 passing I think that would be something a little bit more of a juice this card could get and would honestly need to make it be worth the price and to really get the hype that it garners other than that it's just kind of like again a nostalgia flashback SBC so those are the two uh, players that we had yesterday I think Diani is the better of the two we didn't have an icon we were talking about Vieira right we were so excited for Vieira he was not even dropped. And we have a bigger icon even leaked to be coming soon instead of Vieira. We don't know if Vieira is still coming or if he's not anymore. Maybe he is. We'll have to see what ends up coming. But those were our only two player SBCs yesterday. Now, we did get the 78 plus League One and D1 Arkema double upgrade. I want to mention these for a second because... This is actually a really interesting SBC. I think it's more expensive, but like we were talking about, there are way less rare golds in the League One and D1 Arkema, right? There's just way less of them in the game. So the chance of you to pack a team of the season from one of these packs is a lot higher. These uh, This SBC requires two squads, which is not the greatest. It requires eight uh, uh, golds in each squad with five rares. So 16 golds five rares you're turning in for a double 78 plus it doesn't seem worth it but you do get tradable 75 plus packs back from each of these two sections which could get you tradable cards that are fodder um maybe if you get insanely lucky even a team of the season so those are actually a really interesting grind i'm gonna try a few of them out more throughout this weekend i tried some yesterday and they were bad but i kind of want to try some more just in case 
because that is a really, really interesting SBC pack. And then, of course, we always have the Tots Challenge SBC that refreshed Rare Electrum Players pack. Nothing too crazy to talk about there. Now, that's SBCs. Let's go to objectives because there's actually a little bit of confusion here in objectives. Under the live tab, of course, we have the daily play completionist, the daily play, yada, 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 all that good stuff. Not much else changed there. Under this Tots League 1 and D1 Arkema, a lot of people were wondering, where is Minamino? He is in here. This is a Minamino card, which actually looks pretty decent besides the shooting. Um, and then Ben Yahia from the D1 Arkema, decent card as well. Minamino is definitely the one I think most people are interested in, right? The former Liverpool links there too uh, for the past and present. It is inside of this objective. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. Um, it is, what is it? Score eight goals, score eight goals, play 10 and win seven. So it's all in squad battles, which is nice. You get a couple of packs back and those two cards so it's an okay objective there and then of course as we mentioned the daily play one thing i do want to draw attention to really quickly before we leave objectives is today if you turn on the e champions league group stage for 15 minutes you can get yourself the hemp team of the season card for a 30 game loan and like we mentioned this card you're going to be seeing in the foot champs because for a 30 game loan that's almost like you own the card for a couple of weeks to be honest especially for foot champs games so watch out for that if you want to claim that and get ready to see her in weekend league because she will be there a lot of people will have that card now let's go to the second most hyped place of content yesterday for league one tots evolutions we only had one evo but it was actually a really good one guys the tots plus upgrade it is exactly what you think it is you take a tots plus card and you get the ability to upgrade them it's a very simple upgrade right it's plus one in every stat category except for shooting passing and dribbling all get a plus two but the best part about this evolution is not even the tots plus cards that you might have you can evolve somebody and get right this tots attacker plus evolution gives you the tots plus card design right there on that van zier you can see right tots plus this is the best part about this evo you can put somebody into this and if they fit the requirements for the tots plus upgrade you can give them an even bigger little extra upgrade at the end of the evo chain it's kind of insane you can see here like look at this taram card right this is taram marcus taram you can put him or could have put him into the moment of truth evo into the tots attacker plus and then upgrade him even again he keeps that tots plus chemistry but he gets a small upgrade on top of that that is the biggest w of this evolution 100 percent whatever evo you did in the uh tots attacker plus you can now have an opportunity to upgrade upgrade that card one level further if it fits so th there's amazing chain evolutions that you may be able to come up with right now i have no idea who i'm going to put into this to be completely honest i've got so many options that i'm still thinking through to put in the tots attacker plus evo uh, this one right here that's a hundred thousand coins but it is really really dope that you can put somebody in this and then upgrade them even further uh, it can even be an 85 rated car which is the max overall level of this evo right overall max 85 that goes to a 93 and you can fit a 93 rated player into that next evolution so i think that is super duper dope and a gg from ea either upgrade somebody like who i have here in the club like honchko or upgrade somebody that you're doing through an evo that is cool and it's free so that was like honestly the second biggest w yesterday from the content that was released now let's talk about this league one team of the season guys the team that is in packs it is once again a massive team of players and it's kind of psg filled right the women's and the men's teams both very full of psg ea did put some big name players in these team of the season squads and man we got to talk about the pack weight straight away because that was the thing that we were the most interested in, right? Was it going to be better than Bundesliga? Was it going to be like Premier League? It is definitely not like Premier League, but I would say that the pack weight is better. I think there's two combinations here that are making these prices kind of be where they're at because some of the cards are pretty expensive and some of them are dirt cheap. Guys, the fodder is like cheap fodder, but these cards, I believe, wow, Zakaria is 70K. This guy was around 150,000 coins for a few hours yesterday. Aubameyang was 700k plus. Lucas Hernandez was like 600k. These cards have dropped down a ton because I think they're more packable than Bundesliga. But at the same time, I also think there's less demand. And I don't think people are finding these cards as interesting. And I honestly think people are just getting super frustrated with this game and not even wanting to buy these cards and try them out right now. And it was just very evident yesterday on the market because the cards were low in the first 
15, 20, 30 minutes, very similar to Bundesliga, right? We watched this Lucas Hernandez go from 550 and then investors started investing crazy. There wasn't true demand behind these cards, but everybody was looking forward to the rise heading into the start of the weekend league two hours after content and these cards exploded. Some of them went up and came right back down because it was kind of an artificial rise, a lot of investing and not true demand for gameplay. Some cards did go up. This Jonathan David was 950. He went all the way up to about 1.2, 1.3. Bettina was 2.9. He went all the way to like almost max price, 3.5, 3.6. Chawinga went from 2.5 to 3.5. Crazy rise. But then other cards like this Lucas Hernandez and Renard, she went from like 950 up to 1.1, but then crashed. And she's like now 800K or 700K. So guys, this League One team of the season, I think, is going to drop off even more today. There could be some rises. We'll talk about the market a little bit later on in the video. But um, yes, I would say it's better weight than Bundesliga, but not by a lot, not by a lot. And I think there's not as much hype for these cards on the market than there really was for Bundesliga as well. Now, let's get to one of the craziest things. And I have to talk about this in this video, guys. I know a lot of you guys have already seen this, and I'm going to post the clip in this video today of what happened live on stream yesterday. But first, first thing that happened was we opened an 86 double. And we packed Basha, which was sick. I was super stoked because I was like already doing Diani. I was like, bang, I'm getting a 900K left back, right? Everybody knows the legend of the Basha SBC, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And three hours after the content dropped, there was a 500K pack that dropped in the store. I opened it with coins. Some people are saying, oh, 500K pack, it doesn't count. It does. I'm not opening with FC points. It 100% counts because I traded with those coins free to play to get to that spot. Guys, yesterday... We hit the jackpot. I still am looking at this card and I cannot believe what I see on my screen. Guys, we did it. We did it. We did it. I know a lot of you guys are happy for me. I know a lot of you guys are jealous. This is crazy. Uh, I've never packed a card that was extinct at 15 million coins. And if you want to see my reaction to it, we're going to roll the clip right here. Roll it. Yep. Give me my guaranteed league ones. Belgium center back. Vertonghen? Oh. That's not good. Who's my who's my double? Who's my double? Oh, that is not good. That is not good. <gasps> no! 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 Oh my gosh, chat! Mbappe! Let's go! You gotta be kidding me, dude! <laughs> no shot, chat! No way! No way, dude. On the day that he says he's leaving PSG as well. <laughs> we got the end of era Mbappe, boys. So again, I'm not putting that in just to like flex it or whatever. Like, I mean, it's just, we got to talk about it because it actually happened. Like, you know, lightning, we talk about lightning striking sometimes. Lightning actually struck yesterday on our account. I still cannot believe this is happening. We will be streaming today on a Saturday. It might be the first Saturday stream of the year, but we will be streaming today, playing with this Mbappe card, playing champs, and testing out him and Basha and Diani. And it's crazy. I still cannot believe this happened. That was crazy. I mean, like, yeah, I have no words still. I'm still at a loss for words at the fact that I packed this card. Unfreaking believable. Like FIFA completed. That's all we have to say. So I'm not going to be late with that point because I know. You know, it's frustrating to see somebody else pack something like that when you're like, yo, I want to pack that too. And again, I'm also going to say this explicitly in this video. I am not telling you to go to the store and spend money and open packs, okay? That is the exact opposite of what I want you guys to do. That is not what we are about playing this game. The reason I started this channel in the very beginning and the, the reason that I continue to play this game in the way that I do and share that with you guys is the fact that I don't think you have to spend money to succeed in this game. You can make coins to open packs like this. That's why we've been trading. That's why I equipped the PSG badge yesterday and the PSG kits to get a little bit of the extra juice and it worked. But this is what I'm telling you, man. Don't go run and open the, the 500k pack or whatever 750k pack comes out today with fc points unless you really can and you really want to go with coins it's the way to go and i think that is the future man i think especially with the other frustrations that people are talking about on this game that it is not worth spending money on we're going to be more outspoken and more adamant about that for sure especially with what we're going to talk about next last thing real quick I can't believe that we also pack Mbappe on the day where he released a statement uh, that uh, it's his last season at PSG. His last game is going to be Sunday. This tweet, of course, 
51 million views. My gosh, it's blowing up. But like, I'm calling that uh, Mbappe that we packed yesterday the end of an era Mbappe as well because it's kind of like an end of an era, right? He's probably going to get a 99 end of an era card in the summer during footies or whatever. But hey, I will take that as my best ever ultimate team pack full in the history of ever. Now, here's a situation that gets me a little upset and I know a lot of you guys are upset as well. This is one of the other big things that we've talked about in today's video. Red picks from foot champs were glitched from the start when they were first being opened. People were noticing, this is a few hours after content, right? It takes people a few hours to get the red picks done. People were noticing that red pick weight was juiced. Like, not just juiced, like people getting Mbappe and Dembele. Look at these two picks right here. Dembele, Taram, Zaire, Emery. Guys, Taram is extinct on the market. And looking at the prices of the rest of these cards, I don't know how long, much longer he's going to stay extinct. I don't know if he should be extinct, to be completely honest, with how much these cards are uh, dropping in price. But this is the biggest situation right now in this game. Red picks were broken, and it's reminding us of the team of the year messy situation where they were broken. Everyone was trying to take advantage of it because they knew that EA was going to fix it very, very quick, right? And these were these were regular player picks, guys. It was like if you got 11 wins, you had a very high chance of getting somebody like Usman Dembele, like um, especially Zaire Emery. I think, look at this, Usman Dembele and Zaire Emery. I'm guessing that is from either 11 or 14 wins. Zaire Emery and Jonathan David. Look at that. There's another one. Jonathan David and Zaire Emery for this guy too. It was happening absolutely everywhere. It was crazy. I was just scrolling on Twitter and seeing insane reds, insane reds. And everybody went to the game because of this and started spamming their foot champs games, trying to get their games done as fast as they could to get and take advantage of these red picks, right? Kind of like trying to take advantage of a compensation situation because that's kind of what it was. Then EA fixed it. EA fixed it about three hours after it was discovered and it started to go crazy on X, on Twitter, on social. And this created, and it's going to continue to create today, one of the biggest backlashes I think we've seen against EA in a really long time. Guys, it's just like the messy situation again, man, because if you weren't on and active, there's a whole, there's a bunch of different groups of people. Um, and I had my little banter response to this, right? Um, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But the community is so, so pissed, honestly. I don't know how else to describe it. The community is so mad, guys, because so many hardcore players that were on and playing didn't get their rewards open in time. They didn't get a chance to actually get their red picks, and they were, like, finishing their games or on their 11th game even before this was fixed. And, man, imagine the frustration if you were trying to take advantage of a situation like that and you were on the game grinding. You spent your whole Friday night trying to get those games done so that you could have a chance at those rewards that would get you something actually good because when does often, how often does this game actually reward you with something decent from these rewards, right? Not very often. So you're trying to take advantage of a situation like this, and when you're almost done, it gets patched. Guys, the comments in here... People are disgusted, and rightly so. Rightly so, man. Like everybody's saying, and a lot of the points that are uh, people are upset about is why not just let this run out? Let people have fun in a game where the gameplay is so frustrating that it draws people to not want to play the game anyway. Why not let people have a lot of fun? If, and if you're thinking from EA standpoint, they don't want everybody having a bape. They don't want everybody having all of those different cards, right? And I understand that from their standpoint, but it's so frustrating for those people that were trying to get those games in. Now, at the same time, other people who weren't even on, maybe you were asleep, maybe you were away. I wasn't around. I was away with family. Like I mentioned on stream, I packed an Mbappe and got off stream 20 minutes later because I had somewhere to be, right? Like a lot of people weren't even able to take advantage of that because they were not even on the game awake or able to play at that time. So that's frustrating in its own right as well. But guys, the bottom line here is that people are absolutely livid with EA, like livid. And I think for a lot of people, this is going to be the last straw. I honestly think that EA is losing a lot of their hardcore player base, a lot of their hardcore player base because of all of the mistakes that they have made this year. And this is just, especially recently with the store packs and um, all this stuff that's been frustrating people and, and now this, it's just, it's been a year. Uh, it has been a absolute year of mistakes. And I don't know how it's going to get fixed. I don't know what they're going to do to talk about this. I doubt they say anything, guys. It's going to be like the messy situation. If they say something, we'll be lucky. And they said something about the messy situation. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But, uh, man, it's frustrating. It's frustrating I wasn't even on 
during that time. But it just creates a whole lot of animosity towards EA. And mistakes like this just can't happen. They just can't happen. Like, wh how? How how do you give out that many Mbappes and Usman Dembele's? It honestly makes me a little upset too because I packed a blue Mbappe, which makes my Mbappe less cool because way more people have it as a red. I know that's a very minute thing to feel because most people... Yeah, but... Yeah, that's the frustration with this game right now. Um, and a lot of people are probably going to leave the game because of it. And I completely understand the frustration with that. I hope EA say something about it. And I hope they change something. But I honestly don't think that they will. Now, putting all that aside for a second. We had an SBC leaked even before that all happened. That is an endgame SBC. We're kind of shifting gears now because... That's the bad stuff, right? We talked about the bad. We talked about the frustrating. We're talking about something that is good, but do people care now? I think people still care. I think this is still an SBC that a lot of people will want to do because it's something they've been waiting on for the entirety of the year. We already showed it on screen because getting my screens mixed up. R9. And this is, of course, a play off of the leaked tweet. Remember back in FIFA 22 where it was leaked that R9 or 21, whatever it was, that R9 was going to be getting an SBC and then it never dropped. Well... Boom. I don't know what happened to EA, but they are finally giving us good icon SBCs. R9 is going to drop during TOTS League 1 as an SBC. It is an official leak, guys, from FIFA Trading Romania. R9 SBC. This is an SBC that people have been waiting for for months because it is R9. And you're like, oh, it's the base R9. Nate, is that actually good? I did the base Mia Ham SBC um, like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, probably like three weeks. And her card is still absolutely broken in this game. This R9 is still going to be broken as well. I know he's medium, medium work rates. I know he's 5'5". Five, five. I packed him two years ago. I used the heck out of his card. He was so good, okay? So freaking good. This this guy just transcends playstyle pluses. He just has his own body type and game. He is him. So if you've wanted an R9 and you want to grind to this card and do the SBC, you know what? It's probably going to be the most affordable R9 SBC ever. He's 2.7 million coins on the market right now. When he was leaked, he was about 3.2 mil. I'd have to imagine that this SBC is going to come in probably between the 2.7 to 3 million coin range, probably about 25 squads. I hope they go higher rated squads and less of them. And still get the price that they want to get when you're thinking about how they're going to put out this SBC. Because the more squads that it is, the more annoying it's going to be. And they're going to make this SBC annoying. It's going to be expensive. But I really hope that it really only comes in at about 2.7 to 3 mil. Get your 92s and 93s ready. Maybe even like 95 rated goalkeeper Donnarumma that came out today. It's 63,000 coins. It might even be worth, if you're seriously considering doing this SBC instantly when it comes out it might even be worth like buying four or five of those because that could potentially put you ahead in this sbc same thing with some of the 94s there are a lot of them now so i don't imagine they're going to go up like a ton but there could be shoot there could be a 92 rated squad inside of this r9 sbc there could be i know we've only seen 91s and we haven't seen too many of them but they could genuinely drop a 92 rated squad since it's going to be a 2.7 mil icon if they're going to go the lesser squad route they could go for some higher rated ones and there's enough team of the seasons out now that i think they could get away with putting out a 92 rated squad so that is one thing i wanted to mention do i think this sbc is going to make fodder rise honestly if it does it would make the 91 pluses rise um probably 92s 93s 94s if there was any fodder that was going to rise and if i had to guess mostly i would say 93s but am i going to put any coins behind this and invest no the only thing that i would do is if you're somebody who knows you want to do this and have an end game or an all those striker in your team for the rest of the year um, then stock up on a little bit of that higher rated fodder if you don't have it already and you'll be able to chip away at it we guys we guys we know we know how the menu grind is. We know the exchanges. We know everything in this game right now is so grindable. If you put in the time, put in the effort, it's very easy to get stuff done and grind it, especially through rewards. It'll be craftable. So that's crazy. You know what that also signals, for me at least, endgame. Um, like if they're dropping an R9 SBC, I know we've already had the Dino that a lot of people have done. We were getting the Mateus. You know, we had Raul. We had crazy, insane SBCs. Welcome to the endgame. If we have an R9 SBC that is leaked and it's coming soon... Welcome to the end game. That's all I have to say about that. It's getting closer and closer to silly season, as we call it, right? When all the cards just look absolutely silly in the end game. So next question is, when is that coming? When is that SBC going to be released? 
And to the answer, that one, we do not know. We do not know when R9 is going to be released. But we do know about today. We're probably getting some upgrade packs. And let's talk about that. I'd have to imagine that R9 would be either today or tomorrow. He said in the league that it's coming during League One Tots. I can't imagine that they wait until like Thursday or even Wednesday to drop that SBC. I would think it would be this weekend. So today or tomorrow would be my guess. I don't have the leaks, but I would guess it would be sometime this weekend. But not only is that SBC leaked, we have another player SBC leaked here that is Lacazette. Remember, that was the leak that we talked about yesterday, looking forward to. This is his official card. I believe the League One somewhere on Twitter. I don't even know where. They accidentally tweeted this striker version of Lacazette that he would be coming soon. I think this is his official card, guys. Official card for Lacazette. 95 pace, 93 shooting, 89 passing, 93 dribbling with power shot, pinged pass, and first touch plus. Um, he better be 5'5 five, five or at least 5'4 because those play styles for a striker, pinged pass and first touch, if it was power shot finesse and first touch or something like that, maybe technical, that could be nice. But ping pass is a little bit interesting uh, for Lacazette. This could be an SBC that drops today as well. Is there a date on here? Uh, no, it doesn't say. I I'm guessing this could be today or tomorrow as well. Maybe R9 one day, Lacazette the next. Um, I would say for right now, if I had an Aubameyang, or if I had a Jonathan David, I would be a little bit careful because I think that Lacazette SBC could impact some of their prices. But I don't see that card being super crazy expensive. I could see it being hyped if it's 5-5, five, five, but it can't be super crazy expensive because, you know, the stats look good, but the playstyle pluses don't look that insane. But Lacazette always brings some hype. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. That's leaked right now. And then upgrade packs. There's a lot of people investing right now for upgrade packs on this game because, of course, the 86 double... Is going away. Yes, we wave by to the 86 double because we don't want to ever see it again because it was just absolute trash. Give us something decent, okay? 84-7 or 83-10. I think something along those lines comes today, guys. And I think people have leaks because if you take a look at informs, which those SBCs specifically require informs or they have this year, informs were 27K. They are now all the way up to 28, 29,000 coins. People are investing rapidly and they are stocking their clubs and getting these informs invested in because i think they're expecting these to go up a lot this week with league one impacts um d1 arkema impacts and an sbc that only requires informs like an 84 7 or an 83 10 to be released now again in my eyes it's too risky right now to be investing in informs because again as always go and do the 83 plus player pick and buy the cards to do that save yourself uh the coins and also maybe um spend way like way less coins and maybe do a little bit more time right you're just trading off a little bit of time for less coins but do this don't even go spend 29k for an inform go to this player pick for like 18 maybe even 15k now or for free with your with the crafting right to the menus so don't go spend on the informs in my opinion but if you want to make an investment there do so at your own risk they could go up but we're getting some sort of upgrade pack today i don't know if we get the league one upgrade packs like we did for the bundesliga let me check one of the bundesliga premiums expire uh, they might have already expired, actually. Yeah, Bundesliga. Yeah, they already expired. So I think maybe tomorrow on Sunday is when we'll get those Bundesliga upgrade packs. So that's something to watch out for. Um, and, and then us, other else content today on Saturday, besides the player SBC, um, I got to talk about the market real quick, guys, because uh, I do think these cards are going to move some today. I know we've already mentioned the League One team of the season, and I don't imagine they're going to do that well today. And I wouldn't really invest in them. Um, but if you want to try one of these out, here's what I would tell you. Go buy the card. Try out the card that you want to use. I'm not going to tell you to not buy something because, you know, it could drop. It could drop in price. I think these cards will drop off in price later today. That happens every single Saturday on all of these cards. But what I would tell you to do is um, go pick up the card, buy it, get a couple games done with it, but do not hold on to it for long, especially if it's like Usman, if it's like Zaire Emery, those guys that got packed a ton from the weekend league rewards, like so many people have those untradeable now. Um, so there's less demand for those on the market and maybe less people are going to buy them because they got packed. So what I would say is maybe trade with these guys this morning into the early part of the day today, but then I would probably sell and all the cards that are extinct Man, um, especially um, Nuno Menj. I do not think Nuno Menj is worth 285,000 coins. That's just my honest opinion. I also do not think that uh, Taram at this time is worth 1. Point, what is he? 1.14. I know the card is cracked. I know there's a lot of hype for him. I know his card looks insane. I'm sure it's a beast. 
I don't think right now with the state of the market and the state of the game and the way things are going, don't think that I would want to buy this and try to snipe it. So if I had those, I'd probably try to sell them. And we know how the price range updates went last week with uh, Bundesliga. It took them ages. And then most of them uh, didn't do that well, except for a couple after the price range updates. And these cards seem more packable than Bundesliga still, in my opinion. So I would try to sell those and not try to hold on super duper long. Real quick, Bundesliga Tots cards. Some of them did go up yesterday, but most of them are down a little bit now. And I just think that that is going to continue. Coman was 530. He's now 484. Harry Kane was actually up to like 45. He's 4.3 again. Um, Royce had a big spike. Oop McConnell had a big spike. But I just believe with the League One Tots cards and the hype of this game, it's, that's not going up, guys. The hype on this game is not going up as of right now. Sure, an R9 SBC could bring some hype back to the game, but that's going to drain coins because people are going to spend coins buying fodder and maybe fat fodder goes up a little bit on that top tier range like we said again i think people are going to spend coins though to go get that sbc done and maybe lock is at two and that is going to drain coins off of this market and we're going to keep crafting through our exchange packs man crafting through player picks and upgrades and yeah i still cannot believe that we have an mbappe first owner in the club i, I packed the two headline car I, I still can't believe it man i can't believe it it still does not make sense to me that I have both of these in my team. So join the stream today. We'll be playing with these guys and uh, trying to enjoy foot champs and uh, seeing what red we, reds we can get after they patch the whole glitched craziness. But yeah, what a time to be on this game, man. I, I don't even know. Like seriously, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is like three videos worth uh, of content in one day. There is just so much going on with this game right now. It is hard to keep up with. And a lot of it is because EA mistakes and uh and leaks which technically is an ea mistake as well if you want to count it that way so yeah guys let me know how you're feeling down in the comments if you're like nah man all this mess ups and this stuff wants me I, like makes me feel like i want to quit the game i want to hear about that down below i want to hear about what you packed yesterday maybe what you didn't pack the packs you opened all that i want to hear from you guys man i really value your feedback and i appreciate it this last week with a couple of in like you know in-depth videos getting serious and all that so Really appreciate that, guys. I know a lot of you guys uh, are happy that I packed Mbappe as well. So thank you for that. And I wish that as many of you as possible can pack this card as well and have a really good League One Tots. So again, drop down below in the comments. If you've never come by the streams, drop down in that um, details section in the description and hit the link there. And I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.